Hello Cancer, this is your reading for June 15th through the 30th. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like, share, subscribe, comment. I hope everybody is doing well. We're going to pull some cards to see what kind of energy we get for um, the remainder of the month for you guys in love. Let's see. What's going on with my Cancers for the 15th through the 30th? Cancer. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Alright guys, here we go. Ooh, the lover's energy, Gemini energy right here. Hmm, could be a Gemini you guys are thinking about or this is you guys having to make a choice in love here. Could be between two people. Um, oh, and as I say that, then I see the Six of Pentacles. Hmm. Who do you want to spend your time with? There is a choice to be made. Okay, I'm feeling that there um, could be a Taurus here, but um, I I'm feeling that for a lot of you, there are two people who you guys are thinking about trying to make a choice between these two people. Um, somebody's been lacking in this situation. Somebody's probably been complaining about the lack that they are experiencing in this situation with you guys. So there is a decision to be made here, I feel. Um, I'm definitely getting that you guys are leaning more towards one person than the other. Okay, let's see what the underlying issue is here. Let's flip over two cards. <laughs> You're not really sure of about which person is going to be basically the one that you can really have that build that long term connection with. Who is it? It's like, you know, because you do have a choice here with the Seven of Cups energy. There is a choice on the table. I feel like there are feelings that are being explored and developed for two different people. But you know you can only have one of them. You can only have one of them. Um, and there is one that is you're going to be with for a while but that choice is up to you you have to decide what that is here hmm. we have Scorpio energy we also have um, ooh, me and these nails guys hang on <laughs> and um, so Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy Scorpio energy is here Okay, I feel strongly that one of the people may be a Taurus. Okay, that you are leaning towards actually. Okay, let's see what was going on in the recent past for you guys. What was going on in the recent past for my Cancers? Oh, the full energy. This is Aries energy here. Um, some of you decided to take a leap of faith with someone. Somebody maybe young in nature. Um, somebody that is probably quite adventurous. Um, yeah, this this person probably, you know, they take action and, and think about it later. It's like, whoever this is, I'm feeling like um, you're very excited about this person. It's new, it's energetic, it's fun, it's lighthearted. This person brings a lot of happiness to you and, and they evoke a lot of feelings within you, whoever this is. Aries Taurus energy here. There's something that you just started and I feel that they, they may have come into the mix while you were involved with someone already. Um, they're kind of throwing a monkey wrench into things for you. Let's see what your crowning thoughts are here. 
Oh, the Six of Swords. This is getting on the same accord with someone. There's two people in this boat. This is being able to iron out your differences and get on the same page to discuss the issues that are on the table, um, the things that are being presented to you, blockages that you, that you see that could interfere with this connection here. Aquarius energy. Hmm. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. What's coming in for my Cancers? Three of Pentacles. Mm, you have a strong Earth energy in your reading. This is Capricorn energy. This is building upon something, trying to grow a connection with someone, giving doing your part giving your all doing what what it is that you're supposed to do not sharing your time with more than one person this is you compromising in a situation working together with someone um i feel like a lot of you also um are worried about finances currently trying to build something for yourselves and for your family okay let's see how are my cancers viewing this situation currently hmm you know I'm also getting to because you see you know in the six of Pentacles that there are two people here but this person right here is out of the sight of this person okay so I'm feeling like there's something that um, is possibly happening without the other person knowing okay now here in the three of Pentacles everybody is front and center everybody is um, let in on what is actually happening right now okay so maybe you guys are dating two people and these two people know that um, you're dating them okay not saying that they're okay with it but there is open and honest communication I feel like that is going on um, with you in quite possibly the people that you are involved with but I still see that there is one person that you guys are leaning more towards here again if you see the three pentacles down there they basically are around this person right here so I'm feeling like you guys are leaning more towards one person and um, really want to work on building a relationship with this individual here or vice versa let's see how are my cancers viewing this situation currently I flipped over two cards again oh my gosh you know there's somebody that you have to walk away from there's a situation that you have to walk away from here with the eight of cups energy to have this new emotional connection that is fulfilling you see you see this that the eight and the ace of cups is the nine of cups to have your wishes totally fulfilled with the nine of cups energy you have to walk away from a situation turn down one of these cups that are being offered to you to really find that that one true emotional connection here. I'm getting the sense too that this person, whoever it is you're leaning more towards, you see the Six of Cups right there? This is something that is basically um, a once in a lifetime event. 
is what I'm getting. This goes beyond the Two of Cups, the Six of Cups. This is like something felt on a real soul level for you guys. You guys are feeling this energy, okay? You're definitely feeling that energy. Hmm. What is the influence for my Cancers? The Eight of Wands. There, you guys are wanting to move forward. Um, there's, there's a lot of exchanges here. A lot of um, energetic exchanges. A lot of attraction between you and someone else. There is forward movement here, and you want it to continue. You want to continue moving forward. Sagittarian energy there. Hmm. Let's see. <clears throat> the hopes or fears for my cancers. The Emperor. Another Aries card there. Hmm. <laughs> you know, I'm feeling like maybe this person is very strong willed, um, maybe kind of stubborn. Uh, and I'm and I'm getting that I'm hoping that, you know, the thing that I like so much in this person does not actually become something that is a barrier for us to really and truly connect long term. Um, so, you know, and I'm getting to that. I'm hoping that this person does not change because you see a very lighthearted energy in this person. Hmm. You're hoping that they don't change, that who they're presenting to you is the person that they actually are. Let's see. Okay, what is the outcome for my Cancers? What is the outcome here for my Cancers for the remainder of June? The outcome. Oh, look at this. Love, love, and love. Queen of Cups energy. For the remainder of June, there is definitely love between the two of you. Definitely. Loving communication. Um, I feel like there is definitely an emotional bond being established between the two of you. Both of you care very deeply for each other. Even if you just met this person, you guys kind of have this understanding is what I'm feeling. I feel, though, that neither one of you is wearing your heart on your sleeve and you're being very cautious. You see the Queen of Cups has her hand over that cup, whether male or female, because this person is just not willing to give their affections to anyone in any situation. They really need to see what is being presented to them before they just give all of themselves. But I definitely see um, there is a it's an emotional connection here with someone. Okay. Wanting to make sure that everything is everything between the two of you. Talk things out. Discuss certain things. Iron things out here. Okay. So we have Aquarius, we have you, and maybe another Cancer like yourselves, Pisces, Scorpio energy, Aries is strong here. Um Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energies here, Gemini's here, and excuse me, Sagittarius energy. All right, guys, so that is what I have for you, and I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye now.